so real quick before you did that Mm -hmm. And your your origin story, like how did you get into? Is that he? Uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kuka. Hey everyone out there out there in YouTube land and uh, our Facebook page, uh, Metro Detroit Off Market Real Estate Group. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Talk with yours truly, Randy Steadwell. Glad to have everyone here. Uh, so with all due respect, I am bringing on another person that I've had on before just because it is so, so good information that I think we need to have him back. Ronald Walker, awesome guy. And I, I really, really love having people on uh, repetitively because we can get the, if you want the origin story, go back in the old videos. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. And then now let's talk about some newer stuff and let, let's get some of that going. So today, as you can see from the topic, it's how to make 17K in 42 days. Honestly, uh, Ronald's going to talk about that and I'm going to be taking notes myself. I'm going to tell you that right now. So why don't we bring on Ronald right here and say welcome, big welcome to Ronald Walker. How you doing today? I'm doing great, bro. How you doing, Randy? Uh, doing awesome. Doing awesome. So I'm really glad and I'm happy that you actually agreed to come back on here with us. Um, you know, I've been following you for a while as well. I, uh, you know, ever since the last time we met and honestly, you've been doing really good stuff. You have a YouTube channel as well. By the way, his YouTube channel is a link in the description. So if you want to go follow him, please do. All his links are in the description. And, you know, so tell me a little bit about the process on it. Let's do, we could do a, for the people who haven't seen your origin story, let's do a quick two, three minute backstory that's all i really want to spend on yeah yeah 100 <laughs> yeah yeah so i got started in real estate back in uh in 2012 december 2012 i bought my first uh real estate course okay. uh for two thousand dollars uh the day before christmas i watched a webinar and it was counting down and yeah, yeah. um i thought i was gonna lose it and so i bought a two thousand dollar course uh it took me three months i did my first deal <clears throat> at that time i was working full-time at jp morgan chase and um did my first deal. I made three thousand dollars on that first deal after putting more into marketing. Over the next uh, what was that seven months or so, I uh, I just started wholesaling. I started learning the game, what that looked like, uh, making connections, doing marketing, running around doing bandit signs, doing a lot of direct mail, and um, I was able to quit my job uh, that November, November fifteenth. Okay. And uh, since then, I went full time. I went full time specifically focusing on subject to uh, owner finance wraps. And uh, ah. I spent the next 18 months uh, acquiring my very first portfolio. We, we acquired 127 homes uh, over that next 18 months. I then sold out of that uh, okay. portfolio to one of my partners at the time and um, went off on my own uh, mid 2015, I believe, and uh, just wholesale flips, owner financing. And then uh, I moved up to Grand Rapids when I moved here, guys, it, it was crazy. You know, I, I, I had this whole team. I was all boots on the ground. <laughs> I had the entire acquisition team. I had a dispo team, transaction coordinators, everything. And uh, moved to Grand Rapids. Thought I was going to be able to do it remotely. And my entire team completely fell apart. Um, oh, wow. I didn't know what to do. Um, and luckily, at that point, I, I started just considering doing virtual, virtual wholesaling. I started looking yep. at that. I fell into a couple courses. I bought a couple courses on it. And um, took my entire business, built it up from the ground up, um, and went virtual like no joke, like three weeks before COVID happened. <laughs> and um, my whole business was virtual at that point. Like literally, okay. I just launched going virtual. I thought I was going to take a break. COVID happened, and my business exploded. And um, uh, within that next little bit, we bought 66 homes um, over that period going virtual. Uh, built up okay. another owner finance portfolio, and then I sold out of that um, August of 20, 
uh, one actually. I sold that portfolio and uh, and then going through there and a buddy of mine said, dude, you've been helping a lot of people out with this real estate thing. So you need to, you need to start doing the content game and yep. uh, I put a lot of time into it and I launched that in October of this last year and it's been phenomenal, man. It's been awesome. That's awesome. Now, you you just like starting things and then selling them and let's start over. They say, let's build it up, sell it and start over. Like, man, you, you really like to get that brutal. So, you know, so I like to tell people I've, um, you know, one of my, one of my big flaws um, through investing has been that I've always uh, been seduced by cash, by quick cash specifically. Okay. So okay. anything that I can do to uh, put cash in my pocket quickly has always been the thing I've gone to like first, even when I was doing subject to owner financing, one of the things I learned early on is, yeah, I built this huge portfolio with these guys and um, and they were my mentors, right? That when I went full time, like I learned the legal side, um, I learned the entire transaction side. I learned how to structure deals from probably one of the smartest guys in the seller finance space. Okay. Um, and, but what I realized is there wasn't a lot of money up front with seller finance deals because I wasn't assigning yes. them. We were keeping them all ourselves. Yeah. And we were we were partnering with other wholesalers, which was awesome, and we were building cash flow. But all that cash flow we were using, we were using to acquire more deals. And then we yep. were giving the upfront profits to the wholesalers yep. for their fees and, and, and all of that. And so literally that first year and a half, I had no money. And um, and that really that really just punched me in the face. And I was like, dude, I, I want cash. So I sold that out, got some cash, yep. started wholesaling like crazy. Then I got back into subject to built another portfolio I was like, dude, the market's going to crash. Like, I don't, I don't want to get stuck with all this. So then I sold, I sold those notes and I sold that portfolio. And so, um, and so I like to tell people I get seduced by cash. Um, yeah. but you know, it just depends on what your risk tolerance is, what you want, the direction yeah. you want to go. And, uh, if you want the cash flow to cover your bills and you want to be a, a property manager managing them, or if, uh, you want to be doing deals and I've always leaned towards the doing deals route. Oh, 100%. You know, I, I, that's one thing I love about wholesaling is there's always a new deal to be made. You know, um, it is quick cash. And sometimes I wish I could, you know what, I gotta, you know, after every five, I gotta take one down, you know, things like that. So I'm going to get there. I there promise. Go. I'm going to get there. Well, let's get so, you there here, bro. Let's yeah, get most definitely. Like so, but yeah. So, you know, to me, the, this whole idea about quick cash and that's what this that's what attracts new wholesalers and newbies to this business is the quick cash. Yeah. Now, as these new wholesalers, they got to realize there's a lot to do with it. And if you want to scale it, don't go spend that quick cash that you just got. Correct. You know, take maybe a little bit, 10 percent, go buy a nice dinner, you know, for two hundred dollars, whatever. Buy your wife something real quick for a couple hundred bucks. Now put all the rest of the money back into the business. So, so I actually, you know, I agree with you on one sense, but on another sense for your first deal or for your second deal, um, I actually recommend people enjoy that and splurge a little bit. And I'll tell you yes. Why. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why, Randy, is when you get that first deal and, and you you launch your business, right? Which yep. we're gonna talk about here in a second, right? Launching and being able to go out and do that first deal and yep. find a deal in a very short period of time, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. But the reason why splurging is important yep. is you wanna get excited. And if there's anything that causes you to be successful, it's your ability to engage your emotions in this business. Yeah. And if you've never made 20 grand in a month, um, and you've been living paycheck to paycheck, uh, then what happens is there's a lot of uh, restriction. It's almost like you're having a hard time breathing. And then yep. it's like you come out of the water and you're able to take this big gasp of a breath and it kind of, it, it fills you up. So, because a lot of us were sacrificing a lot of the things we want because yes. we can't have it. And so that first deal, Let's say you go out and you do your first deal and, and let's say it is a big deal, right? Yeah. Some people do small deals like I did. My first deal was three grand, so I didn't have any extra money to spend. <laughs> um, but there's guys, their first deal is 17 grand. Uh, uh, another yeah. guy, a uh, buddy of mine, he just did a, a $52,000 deal, I think it was. 
what you can do with that kind of money is it's a year's worth of money, but a lot of time there's a lot of back sacrifices that we've done. So yep. go out and splurge, take 25,000 and just like level out your life so you feel good. 100%. And now that feeling will stay with you forever. And yep. it will just give you that motivation to go out and do that next deal. So on those first deals, pay yourself 50 to 70% of that and then peel off 30% or 25% of it to reinvest in your business. Yeah. But don't quit your job yet, right? Don't. Oh, don't hell no. <laughs> right? Don't make it where doing deals is your sole survival. Let it be that extra income so you yeah. can build it up. And, uh, and we're going to talk about getting to your first mountaintop and, and what those milestones look like in this. I want I really want to dig into that. Yeah. But that's what you want to do on that first deal as you're launching into being a wholesaler is get that first deal, prove this concept and celebrate um, because there will be nothing like getting your first deal and proving that, wow, this isn't a scam. We can actually. Yeah. Do this. And you know what? I, I actually kind of, I actually agree with you um, because the thing is, is that you come up with that excitement and you want to continue that excitement. But if all your money goes back into your business, where's that excitement going? Right you now. So no, I, I 100% agree with you on that, but I, I still got to stress the fact of people putting money back into the business because marketing costs money. Yes. If your first deal, you only get a thousand dollars. Don't go splurge on, on it. Like, like we were just talking about, take that money, just put it in marketing you can take about a hundred dollars and splurge on a nice dinner or something. Yep. But for the most part, it, it all depends on how much, what your first deal, my first deal, I had $1,300. Yeah. Was not much, but to nope. me it was a proof of concept yep. and it worked and it was $1,300 uh, was my portion. We actually had that split three ways. So, yep. um, you know, it wasn't a huge deal by any means, but it was it was perfect for me. So, That's, dude, and that proof of concept is just so powerful because it proves to you that this process one can be done, two can be yep. done by you, yes, and three, oh dang, it wasn't that hard. Let me just redo it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right? And yep. then once you get those first three or four deals, you're like, oh man, I, I can really do this. And, and I also want to give to your guys. I want to give the the formula to quit your job. Um, you know, that, that formula of getting that spot where you have the ability to quit your job um, is so powerful. Um, yeah. And a lot of people don't really know what that means, right? Like, yeah. what, is, what is that? How do I get there? It seems like this esoteric, ethereal number. And uh, there's actually a very simple formula that people can put in front of themselves so they can look at it and realize, you know, this is attainable. And so right. we, can, uh, we can get into that too. Most definitely. And that's the thing, like everyone's different. Everyone's um, number is a little bit different mm -hmm. on that. So like for me, I actually like my, my day job. So my number is going to be way higher because I actually like my job. Yes. You know, so um, everyone's different on what they need to do. Now, um, with that being said, let's get a little bit into it on how to make 17K in 40 two days now how did you come up with this first off uh 17k is the national average for a deal at least um from people that i talk to right of people course. have different national average some people say 18 some people say 25 so you know different things some people say 10 um, some people say 15 you know exactly. um but yeah seventeen thousand is um in dallas texas mine was eighteen thousand was my average wholesale deal um, I'm here in Grand Rapids. My average is, is a little bit lower. It's in the twelve to thirteen thousand dollar range, right between okay. there and the average. Um, but everyone does big deals, right? Thirty thousand, yeah. seventy thousand dollar deals, or smaller deals. Four. I'm still, I'm still waiting for those. My average is five years. So there you go. There you, you know. go. You'll, you'll have one of those pop soon, bro. You'll you'll make yeah. it happen. So so what you want to do is you want to really launch your business, and in launching your business to get your deal, you need to focus on. Uh, really three things okay okay number one is you need to know how to do a deal you need the knowledge yes okay um and and realizing that it's actually very simple you know you you go on youtube and you realize that people on youtube need to make content for people to follow them and so they come up with innovative ways of of constructing things um yeah. and so you'll see like 17 steps or 22 steps to to do a wholesale deal well, 
it's actually not that complicated, right? People are just right. looking for innovative ways. It's actually one of the most simple things you can do. So one, <laughs> you need to understand those mechanics that first you need to uh, find a path to get a seller on the phone. You need to market to them, okay? Which we're gonna yep. get into some strategies here in a second. Two, you need to be able to get them to sign a piece of paper that says you can buy their property. Three, you need to take that piece of paper and send it to a title company. And when you send it to a title company, they're gonna open up escrow, which means that now this property is at title and they're making sure that it can transfer ownership. Then number yes. four is you need to find a buyer. Number five, you need to sign a piece of paper that assigns your rights to that original contract to your buyer. Then you need to send, number seven, you need to send that paperwork to the same title company. And then you need to schedule closing and you'll get a check. You don't even have to show up to closing. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.